Welcome back everybody, it's Wikipedia, and this one is the Laborer Guide. So, the role as the laborer, in my opinion, is to do some of the digging. A lot of your quests involve some digging early on to get some of those materials, and uh, you provide forges very early for everybody by just doing your class quests. The biggest thing you can do is get those class quests done to finish it up. Um, part of the advanced engineering perk that here it doesn't even have a level requirement on it requirement on it to be an electrician. It just requires you to do your quest line. Once you've done that, you unlock, as you can see here, the metal workbench and tailoring station. That unlocks a lot of things for other players on your team to get going and start making advanced tools and uh, gadgets and things like that. Uh, early forges as well. So if you're in here, you can get to the big forge before level 10. And you can also get the Advanced Forge at level 20. The Advanced Forge is a huge game changer. There's reduced cost on recipes, and there's no heat from doing those things. The, the Big Forge is definitely the big one, so you can get the steel to make that, and you can get that right away. Um, don't make too many of the cheap forges. Make the big ones as soon as you can, so you can start improving them, faster crafting, etc., etc. You can also get the Concrete Mixer. If you can get a concrete mixer by level 10 for like your second horde night, your bases are going to be a lot more sturdy. Again, this is why you're going to be doing a lot of the digging. Start building right away too. Um, even though you are the laborer, it used to be technically called the builder class. You get a lot of experience from building and upgrading things. Uh, definitely take advantage of that because you're the one is going to be leveling tool crafting hopefully as well because you can unlock the iron and steel tools very early as well so get that stuff out be the tool crafter be the digger so you can repair your stuff on the fly they don't have to come back to you make extra tools so what i ended up doing is um well i ended up being the tool crafter but i wasn't the laborer anyway i made about 12 steel pickaxes i only had six teammates so they each had two they could burn through, and then when they broke one, they would leave it for me to repair so they didn't degrade it. And then when they ran out, they would come back and pick up a fresh one, and it would just kind of cycle. So def definitely that is your role, especially getting those early forges, getting those benches down, even if it's just one. They're not that expensive. Just get your quests done, get those through. Start building, start digging. Be that guy to supply the storage. Um, the benches to keep that ball rolling on technology um you do actually pair very well with the mechanic the mechanic is going to need steel early the sooner they get steel the sooner you get good vehicles um vehicles in my mind are time machines they help you carry more they help you move faster just vehicles are so important in seven days to die um Work with a mechanic. Get your guys help, get your guys some vehicles early on. They need steel ASAP. You're the one who can do that. A uh, little bit of a shorter video, but yeah, basically you dig and you build and make things happen for your team. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.